Hey, listeners. Thanks for joining us for your daily Bible verse. We hope you enjoy this deeper look at one of your favorite or maybe not so well-known Bible verses. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone, just subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcasts. To find more Bible studies, Bible reading plans, and verses by topic, we'd love for you to visit us on BibleStudyTools.com. What Will Heaven Be Like? Written by Dr. David Jeremiah and read by Stephen Sanders. Today's Bible verse is Hebrews 12, 22, that you have come to Mount Zion, to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. Many people picture heaven as a never-ending church service in the sky, or they think we will all be angels who float around on clouds playing harps for the rest of time. Neither of these make eternity seem very appealing, and both are completely inaccurate, according to the Bible. In fact, heaven will be glorious and full of grandeur. We will experience fullness of joy as we live in the presence of God and fellowship with each other. There are so many reasons to look forward to heaven. I want to give you a glimpse of three. For one, our friendships will be richer. One of the most fascinating glimpses we have of heaven is in Hebrews 12, 22 through 23, a passage that provides a list of heaven's inhabitants. But you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn who are registered in heaven, to God the judge of all, to the spirits of just men made perfect. Now, who in that group is boring? We're going to spend an eternity with God, with His angels, with the Old Testament saints, and with Christians through all the ages. Can you imagine being in an environment like that? There will be no misunderstandings or tiffs or tensions among us. Our relationships will be so much healthier in heaven than here. Down here we have problems even with our closest friends. You know what that's like. Someone says something to you, and you aren't sure how to interpret it. You react to it, perhaps overreact. You say to yourself, I wonder what he meant by that, or I wonder why she said that. In heaven, there will be none of that. Our relationships will be open, honest, interesting, loving, and uncomplicated by sin or our sinful natures. We will dwell with God, the angels, and one another in perfect compatibility and refreshing intimacy. We will all be together in heaven. It won't make any difference when we lived on earth. Imagine being best friends with people who we've only read about in the Bible or in books. I'm eager to meet Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph. Imagine having all the time we wanted to talk to Augustine, George Muller, Martin Luther, and William Tyndale. We'll be great friends with our missionary heroes like William Carey, Adoniram Judson, Jim Elliott, Hudson Taylor, Amy Carmichael, and Eric Liddell, the Olympic champion who left it all to go to China for Christ. Heaven is going to be such an incredible time of unlimited fellowship with people who have lived in all ages that I can't begin to comprehend it, but I know it's true. The Lord Jesus even gave us a glimpse of this on the Mount of Transfiguration when he stood there talking to Moses and Elijah as the twelve disciples listened to that amazing conversation. And don't get me started on the fellowship we'll enjoy with the angels. In heaven, we'll be part of it all, and our mentors, heroes, friends, ancestors, and descendants, all who know Jesus, will be there with us. Hey everyone, thanks for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, a production of the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, We'd love for you to head over to iTunes and rate and review our podcast. It really does help people find us. This episode was produced by our managing editor, Kelly Givens, and recorded and edited by Stephen Sanders. Be sure to come back tomorrow as we examine more of God's Word.